Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Sarah with the Adventure Squad and today I'm bringing you yet another easy dice game. I'm going to be walking you through how to play 10,000. Now the only difference between 10,000 and the other dice games I've shown you lately is that 10,000 requires six dice. Now if you only have five dice, if you have another game like Yahtzee or other dice games that require five dice and you don't have a sixth die, you can make do with five dice. You just have to switch up the scoring options a little bit and make some house rules in that regard. The goal of 10,000 is pretty simple. You want to be the first player to get over 10,000 points. If you are able to get over 10,000 points, everyone else has one more turn to try and beat your score. If two or more players get over 10,000 points in the same round, the win then goes to the player with the highest score. Now a couple things to keep in mind before we get to the scoring options. When starting a game, you must have at least 350 points to keep points. So each round, you are saving up your points to try and reach 10,000. However, to start keeping your points, you must get at least 350 in one round. So if you only score 250 in the first round, you cannot keep those 250 points. You end up going back to zero. Your next turn, you have to try and get at least 350 points so you can start scoring more points. Another thing to note is you must keep at least one scoring die or one scoring combination. So if you roll your dice and you don't have any numbers that give you points or any scoring combinations, play then moves to the next player and you have zero points for the round. Each round, you decide if you want to keep the points you score with your dice. For example, if you have three sixes, you could keep those points, or you could choose to re-roll the rest of your dice and try to score more points. However, if you don't get any other scoring combinations or scoring dice, you would lose those current points and go back to zero. It is then the next player's turn. With those two things in mind, let's get to the scoring options. In this game, the only single dies that are worth points are ones and fives. Ones are worth 100 points each, and fives are worth 50 points each. Now you do need to keep at least one scoring die, so if you don't have any other scoring options in your roll, you can keep either a one or five to keep rolling. If you roll three of a kind in the same roll, if it's three ones, it counts as 1,000 points. If you have three of a kind of any other number, it's simply 100 times the die value. So three fives would be worth 500 points. If you have three sixes, that would be 600 points, etc. If you roll three pairs, that counts as 1,000 points. But again, this has to be in the same roll. You can't keep numbers and have two pairs and then roll a third pair and have that count you have to get these scoring options in one roll. If you roll a complete straight in one roll, which is one through six, you get 1,500 points. Again, that's in one roll. So as we said before, three of a kind is 100 times the dice value. So this would be 200 points. If I rolled four twos, we would double that. So it would be 200 times the dice value, so this would be 400 points. If we had five twos, it would be 400 times the dice value, so this would be 800 points. And lastly, if we rolled six twos, it would be 800 times the die value, bringing this to 1600 points. But again, this has to all be in one roll. So if you somehow manage to roll six of a kind of twos, you would get 1,600 points. So let's say this is what I rolled. As you can see, I don't have three of a kind of any number, I don't have three pairs, and I don't have a straight. I also don't have any ones or fives. I have no scoring options with this roll, and my turn would be over, and I would get zero points for this round. Now, if I rolled this in one roll, I have three pairs. I have two twos, two threes, and two sixes. In this case, I used all of my dice for scoring. So I would have to re-roll all of my dice. So let's play a round or two and show you guys exactly how this game is scored. So we roll our dice. And it looks like we have three sixes and also a five. Now, for the first round, when we're starting a game, 
you need to have at least 350 points in order to keep your score. If I wanted to, I could keep the sixes and the five for 650 points. Or I could reroll these dice. Again, you only have to keep at least one die. So even if I didn't have these sixes here, I could keep the five and reroll my other five dice. All right, so as we can see, I have a six, but it wasn't rolled with the other sixes. So that does not count. I can't say that I have four sixes because it wasn't in the same roll. Now, since I don't have a one or a five, I can't keep any more dice and I lose these points because I didn't add to my score. So I would go back to zero. Then it's the next player's turn. So as you can see, we have two ones and four fives. Now to score this, I have four fives. So three fives is 500. Four fives is 1,000 because it's 200 times the die value. I also have two ones, which are worth 100 points each. So that gives me 1,200 points for this round. Now, since I'm using all of my dice to score, I have to reroll all of the dice and hope that I get a scoring number or a scoring combination. So that way I can keep my score. Okay, so we have two sixes, two threes, and two fives. That is 1,000 points. We have three pairs. And since I used all of my dice in a scoring combination, I once again have to re-roll. So I would add that 1,000 points to my initial 1,200 points and roll again. Okay, so I have another one here and three twos. So that's another 200 and another 100 points. So 300 points plus my 2200. That would give me 2500 points for the round. If I wanted to risk it, I could try to roll ones and fives with these two last dice, but that's a lot of points. So at that point, I would stay and not risk it. So my score for the round is 2,500, and it's the next player's turn. And that is how you play 10,000. It's a very easy game once you know the scoring options. And if needed, if you don't have a lot of time, you can always adjust the winning score to 5,000 or 7,000 or whatever you want to play to. If you guys enjoyed this video or plan on playing 10,000 in the future, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to catch more fast and easy games, including future game reviews and product reviews. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and until I see you again, get your game on.